Good morning to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. I say good morning to your health in the name of Jesus. Good morning to your career. Good morning to your destiny, to your finances, to your marriage, to your spiritual life, to your children. Why am I saying good morning? Because joy comes in the morning. So I am commanding that joy of yours to manifest. I am commanding your joy to rise and shine. May you have joy in your finances, in your marriage. May you have joy in your businesses, in your career. May you have joy in your destiny. May you have joy in your life. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Welcome back to the channel. Remember, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And in all you're getting, get understanding. Our verse for today is from Proverbs chapter 15 and verse 15, which says, All the days of the afflicted are evil. But he who is of a merry heart has a continual peace. Let me explain to you what this is saying. And you may be very short for this video. All the days of the afflicted are evil. Now, what is that affliction? We're talking about affliction of the heart. That is those who are troubled in heart. The person who is troubled in heart will never have a good day. Something will always come about to trouble the day. Some, there is something that will always come to trouble him. But he who is of a merry heart has a continual feast. Someone whose heart is at peace. It does not matter what happens in your day. This person will remain at peace. It does not matter what happens to trouble them. This person will be at continual peace. This person will have a continual feast. Why? Because the joy is there. They are of merry heart. And this is why I always tell people, I always try to get people, guard your heart. As a matter of fact, the word of God says it, I think it, is it Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23? I really hope I didn't get this wrong, but I think it's about there. It says, guard your heart, or the New King James Version says, keep your heart with all diligence, for from it, or out of your heart, spring the issues of life. This is why the afflicted person, they are full of evil, of trouble. Their days are full of evil. Why? Because from the heart, from the condition of the heart, from out of your heart proceeds the issues of life. Where do wars and fights come from among you? They come from your members. So you think everything happening outside is the external stimulus that is changing what happens inside of you? No. It will come from inside of you. That is why Jesus said, it not what enters a man that defiles the man, but what goes out of the man. Because from the heart is what goes out of the man. That is why God is looking at the heart. That is why God is looking at the heart. All the days of the afflicted, are evil. Why? Because his heart is troubled. And somebody with a troubled heart, their days will continue to get worse and worse and worse and worse. Every day something going to go wrong. Every day. Why? Because that is the condition of their heart. They expect things to go wrong so things go wrong. And these things trouble them every day. Why? Because the enemy of the soul is not stupid. He doesn't want you to be at peace. So everything he can get to trouble your day, he will send it. Everything he can get to make you angry, to make you depressed, to make you cry, to make you worry, he will continue to send it. But if you have a heart that is merry, I mean, if you have a heart that is at peace, a heart that is well guarded, then what happens? Then these things cannot trouble you. If you don't know these things happening, how do you want to trouble you? No. If you're in your house, you have a big mansion, and you're in a soundproof room, you listen to some music, and there's a dog back in the outside. Is that going to trouble you? No, it's going to trouble you. You are well guarded inside that house. You are well guarded. So the people who those dogs trouble are people who go outside and, and you know, they, they worry and this and that. My people, guard your heart. Guard your heart. Guard your heart. Do not let anything trouble your heart. Your heart is important. The most important part of your being is your heart. Guard it. The same way you would guard your money. The same way you would guard your information on your phone. The same way you would guard your house. More so, 
guard your heart. Protect your heart. Let nothing come to trouble it. Because once that heart is destroyed, then your life is a mess. Guard it. Keep it clean. Keep it happy. And you will see nothing begins to trouble you. That is where real peace comes from. When you have real peace in the heart, it doesn't matter what happens externally, your peace will come from within and nothing will trouble you. Look at me. Hey, I am the most carefree person in this world. I have zero cares in this life. Zero, absolutely none. Why? Because my heart, I have to say, hey, my heart is so important. Don't allow anything to trouble a heart at all. You wonder why I smile, smile all the time? Because I got my heart. I don't want anything to trouble his heart. Oh, that's when God contact me. Oh, my heart. So if something come and disturb my heart, how am I supposed to hear from God? My people, guard your heart. From it, the issue of life. The one who is of an afflicted heart, these are evil. But the one who has a merry heart, continual feast. Continual feast, baby. <laughs> this is where we video to an end for today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you all so much for being there with me. I say good morning to you and congratulations in the name of Jesus Christ. I see your healing come. I see your promotion come. I see your breakthrough, your deliverance come. I see you moving forward. I see you growing. I see you advancing. I see you. I see you. I say good morning to you and congratulations in Jesus' name. They call Jesus. me Tessie